How old are you, little man? I'm 12 You're 12? Yeah, I'm a reporter for Sports Illustrated. You lying. <laughs> Never would he lie. <laughs> wow, that's big time, man. What's your name? I'm Max. Nice to meet you, man. Thank you. Do people ever come up to you and say, damn, Daniel? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I enjoyed your handshake in the hallway. My hand hurts from that. That hurt. Yeah, it still, still hurts. hurts. <laughs> How has it felt to be in the NCAA tournament? Uh, incredible. Uh, just this tournament is the best thing in sports, in my opinion. Uh, you know, just the atmosphere here is, is uh, you know, something that's unmatched in college basketball. Over the past couple of days, you've become a known, like, all over America. How does that feel? Well, it feels good, uh, not for myself, uh, you know, but more for SFA. Uh, you know, that's what's important, and uh, you know, I love this this program more than anything. So, uh, you know, for the for the SFA name and, and basketball program to be getting out there it means a lot to me. Thank you, thank you, seriously. You're the man. Do you think that Thomas Walk Up is as hard to guard as any other player in the ACC? Yeah, I mean, um, you got to give him a lot of credit. He's a great player. I mean, he's positionless, too. You know, he just plays everywhere. You know, he can do pretty much anything. I um, mean, it was a tough matchup for us, but, uh, you know, in the end, we did what we had to do to get the win. Thank you. No problem, man. Thank you. And I'm here with the mascot for Notre Dame Fighting Irish. Um, by any chance, are you related to Thomas uh, Walkup? No relation to him, but I heard we do look alike, so. Yeah. Do you think he is a leprechaun? I think if anybody wants to be a leprechaun, I think they could be a leprechaun. So maybe I'll have to go check. I'll meet him tonight. Okay. Um, a couple days ago was... Um, St. Patrick's Day. Did anybody catch you? It's my favorite day because nobody has called me. To this day, nobody's called me. So I'm going to keep a good distance from you right. and ho hoping you don't catch me. But it's not St. Patrick's Day anymore, so we're good. Yeah. <laughs> Can you explain again what happened to your forehead? Oh, uh, yeah, man. It's, it's, I went up for, you know, for a rebound uh, with Jock. Uh, came down, came down, you know, with an elbow, it hit me in the head. I look kind of ugly with it now. I, I, it used to be cute before, but, you know, it is what it is. When I was looking at the stat sheet, I saw your 5'9", which is pretty impressive that you're playing at such a high level. Um, do you think this is an example of hard over height? Yeah, I actually do. Um, I take that uh, really, really, really prideful in that area. Uh, being short, you know, I know you've heard of short man syndrome, and I kind of have that. I love playing with the bigger guys, really getting in there, mixing things up, and just kind of controlling the game at my position. How does it feel to be in your first NCAA tournament and win? Absolutely. I think one of the things I've always wanted to do is compete in the NCAA tournament, and that's why you come to the University of Iowa and why you play at the Division One level is one of the goals is to compete in this tournament, and you know, I'm just really excited we get a chance to play Sunday. How did your senior step up? You know, my senior, Zach August, was fabulous. You know, he had a double-double. He was getting every rebound. I thought he was anchoring us defensively. His hustle play to get that ball back in transition, that was a key play in the game. Do you expect more of the seniors? Yeah, you always do. You expect them to be leaders, and you want them to set a tone. And, and Zach, as my only senior that's in the lineup, does a great job leading and being a captain. What do you think about Woodbury's tipping at the end, at the end of the buzzer? Well, you know, it was a really... Uh, savvy play. We ran an action that didn't work exactly as we wanted it to. Mike drives the ball, gets a shot up, you need to get a shot up late, and then we sent everybody to the glass and Woodbury had a great read on it, tipped it in, and we get to advance. Your seniors really uh, stepped up for you today. Uh, were they a key factor for the win today? Definitely. Um, Ryan Archidiakono and Daniel Chefu have been our leaders all year. They, they've been awesome. And when you get in uh, 10 situations like the, the NCAA tournament, that's when those guys really have a great impact on the team and on the game, and both of them did. Uh, since you're in the South region, you have a potential matchup with Kansas in the Elite Eight. How do you prepare for that game? Uh, first, got to win the next game, and uh, I hope we get a matchup with Kansas because that, that means we won a couple games. I'd be really happy, and then we'll figure that out when we get there.